मीडिया भाई Well, thank you all very much for the for the warm welcome to uh, Bereshal Division. You know, I've been the U.S. ambassador in Bangladesh for eight months, and this is my eighth division. So I'm eight for eight. And I've been looking forward to visiting this uh, division for a long time. And the reason I'm here is I'm looking at opportunities for American investors to come to the division and, and look at uh, commercial and economic uh, opportunities. I'm also looking at ways we can enhance our cultural and educational exchanges, having more Bangladeshi students from Barishal go to the U.S. and more U.S. students come here. I'll have the opportunity to visit some of this division's natural beauty. Uh, I actually I came here on the boat. Uh, I said, "No plane. Let me let me take the boat uh, here," and had a, a, a really uh, wonderful experience. I'll get a chance to visit uh, local mosques, uh, madrasas, churches, temples, all the things that makes this division so special. And thank you, gentlemen, for the great work you do. And uh, thank you to the police officers that have made this visit possible for me, and uh, that protect and serve their communities, and to all the government officials that have helped uh, make this visit possible. So thank you. I, I, I know the issue. Yes, that, that's a question I'm, I'm asked a lot. What can the United States do to help Bangladesh somehow resolve the Rohingya crisis? It's a an effort that's been joined by the international community. I'm proud to say the United States is the largest donor of humanitarian assistance to not just the Rohingya communities but the host communities uh, in the Cox's Bazar area. Uh, through the generosity of the American taxpayer, we've donated $541 million since August of 2017. But what we have to do, the United States and the international community, is to continue to put pressure where the pressure belongs, on Myanmar, so that when the Rohingya return to that country, they can do so in a safe, dignified manner that's based on voluntary consent, back to an environment that is conducive for that type of safe return and that the individuals in Myanmar who persecuted them are brought to justice. And that's what I work on. This issue is one of my principal priorities as a U.S. ambassador. I'll continue to uh, work with uh, all strata of Bangladesh society to see that this issue is resolved. I also want to emphasize that while we spend a lot of time working with the Rohingya community, we also have a deep, deep appreciation for the host communities that have taken on this burden, have opened their hearts and borders to one million um, persecuted people. So our efforts are also going to host communities to, because we know the sacrifices they've made. We know how it's affected livelihoods. We know how it's affected the environment um, in, in Cox's Bazaar. And we're very sensitive uh, to that. Um, Again, as long as I'm the U.S. ambassador here, that will remain a priority for the foreseeable future for the U.S. government. The resolution of the Rohingya crisis will remain a priority as well.